Welcome back, everybody. I'm your lovely, awesome host, Bokusatsu, and, and today we are here to review uh, another geese figure art. Yay! Oh, yeah, I love geese. I do, but at the same time. <laughs> today we're here to review the essay figure art, Tamashi Nation, Kamen Rider Geese, Laser Boost Form, and Boost Form Mark II. So, this. So this so this is like previous other figures. If you have figures like if you have figures like Kamen Rider Alive or Kamen Rider Evil, you know that they have like swappable pieces to change the form from Bat to Jackal. Or if you have like the Gates Revive figure art, he comes you you can change it into Galretsu or Shippoon form. Mine's in Galretsu. And uh this figure based like that. You can swap out the pizza. T you can swap out the pizza and make Geats into, well, Mark II right here or the laser boost form. But for this review, we're gonna he can stay in Mark II for now till like I till I switch him to laser boost in the second portion of this video. We're gonna go to accessories. My bad. So how's the figure? Very frustrating. And let me explain. So I watched a f so I remember watching a Japanese review when this figure came out in Japan and uh the 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 guy's review the guy's version of his figure this belt piece right here could not stay on. Mine did not mine did not have that issue, thank God. But there's an issue with this figure I gotta talk about. And that issue is with the laser boost form once I go around switching him into his laser boost form. But for now, let's talk about the gear. So let's talk about things I do like about this figure. All right, so paint rise and paint scope rise. This looks really good. This looks just like the suit from the show and I love it from the small detail as well. Tamashi really did their homework on this figure. Oh, duh. Geese is, Geese is popular and all, but still, this this look just like this look just like the actual suit from the show. It's so good. Articulation wise, it's pretty good. Although uh, I did, I will say I did find funny that they did reuse uh, glass pieces right here for it, but that's just me. His shoulders, my bad. But uh, no, no, yeah, uh, he's he's pretty good articulated, articulated as well. You can put him any pose you want to. You can even make him do his. You can even make him do his iconic rider pose, well, or kick. Or you can make him. Or you can make Ace do his iconic pose when he got this form the show when he fought Buffer in that one Jamato. Now it's time for the highlights. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's what's up. Oh man, by the way, the figure of Premium Bandai. I got this from P Bandai. I got this from Premium Bandai US. Yeah, I bought the US release. And this was and this was the last Geet figure art I bought. <laughs> I had not bought J. I had not bought the the uh the second version of Buffa. I did not buy any other Geet figure art except for the main four. I, I did order Glad on my birthday last year, but I sold him because I did not need him. Because well, I don't even care for Glare. But still. We got the we, we got the high we got the highlights. <laughs> but no for uh, this figure's pretty good. It's time for the highlights for this man, UQ Ace. Yeah. Any like any like smudges of paint on my copy? No. I none. Although I will say it is pretty easy to swap out this belt and put like any other belt. So okay, imagine you had like okay, if you have like the Senkoku Seiho Decay, you can just you can just freaking slap on that deck driver on this guy, and uh, it'll be and it'll look and it'll look like and it will look like that. Uh, oh snap! It's Geet. Oh wait, no, it's decayed. <laughs> yeah, I shred any belt. Any like decayed belt for any of the figure arts, you any of the figure arts you have, just 
Jeff freaking Jeff freaking uh, dropped the Senkoku Seiho Decayed Belt on there, then you're good. You're good and you're good and handy. How do I know? Well, I have the figure. Well, I, ha I have the 50 version, but still. But anyway, yeah, uh, Geet's right here, pretty good. Articulation wise, suit wise, this is this is a good suit. Although it's not my favorite super form, not even near my top ten or top five. Personally, I I made this hot take on Instagram uh around when uh a couple yeah. yeah I made the hot take on Instagram uh, a couple of weeks ago when uh when premium uh, Gatchard got we got revealed in the show got like got announced and debuted in Comrade Gatchard. I prefer Premium Gotchard over Mark II. And that's uh and that's just me. I like both suits, don't get me wrong. This suit looks fire and I'll just I just like Premium Gotchard way more. So yeah. So anyway, yeah, uh, articulation wise he's pretty good. No like issues here or there in the back or the front. That's good. Just be careful with the back here because he is a little bit limited due to well uh, he is a little limited because well this is the figure, not the actual suit. And uh, one thing I don't like about the Geach figure arc that uh, the articulation-wise for like the chest piece for the ab crunch, it's very limited, and I don't like that about my figure. I know that's not a big deal for me, other but for me, it kind of irks me. But that's just my opinion. So all right, so we're gonna so we're gonna turn the Fox Man into Mark Two. I mean, to Laser Boost. And then uh, we're gonna talk about the things that I did not like about. Uh, then we're gonna talk about the QC issues that I have with, with laser boost form. Because oh boy, there's a lot. All right, let's do this. So you want to know how the heck can you turn into laser boost? It's actually pretty easy. The uh, sorry. I'm Sorry, sorry about that. I'm over, I'm over in the box right now. You see this piece? So, to do this, you can, so to do this, you got, so to put this on, you got to, uh, well, take this apart. I know, I, I'm, I know, I, I'm doing surgery on a figure. <laughs> Live on camera. All right, you gotta be very careful, and uh, you, you just gotta be very, you gotta be very careful to do this to take this piece out to put in about uh, well, this one. And I, uh, well, yeah, my bad. You gotta take this piece out right here. Put this in. Alright, you gotta take that head out to put in this head. And that's all good in the hood. And now I hit the fun part. Great, what? Well, okay, that's nice. Nice work, Aaron. Sorry about that. Here comes the fun part. You see this belt right here? Yeah, you see this belt? Okay, so you want to take you want to take Mark II's part and put it on the other side. To the left, to the left. Sorry, I just love that song. Or you can do like this. To the left, to the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, listen. I like Beyonce's music. What can I say? I grew up with that. I grew up with her music. Early 2000. Oh, well, yeah, I'm a 2000 kid, but still. Yeah, boy, I'm Gen Z. Anyway, uh. Oh. <sighs> this is gonna be annoying. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. Crap. Before we do that, there's one more piece you gotta put on him. This. And yeah. Great. 
Great. Okay, that, that, that's wonderful. I'm gonna. We're gonna be right back. Meanwhile. All right, we are back, and I have him on laser boost. Oh boy, this was annoying. Yeah. Uh. This. Yeah, uh, Mike. This is part just me, but uh, for those for those who have a, for those who have like an issue with, with putting him in laser boost, who else has an issue with this skirt? Because last night I was taking pictures of him. His skirt did not want to stay on. Neither did this. But great, this was annoying. This was. But uh, I found a way how to fix it, and thank God for that. And yeah, he's here. He is in laser boost form. Now I want to talk about. Now I want to talk. About, now I want to talk about my QC issue for this figure. So I know that uh, on ja I saw the same video I watched for the Japanese review on on this on this release. The guys copy uh, his his well this piece the gun and uh, this this whole piece the ray rise the ray riser with uh, with the Mark II uh, buckle. Fell off every time I put it on there. And this as well, this skirt piece. And I found, and I remember he was not happy. He was frustrated. <laughs> this is the U.S. release, by the way, not, not the Japanese release. And the Japanese release, the U.S. release is a little bit. The U.S. release, the the, the U.S. release had no issue with that. My copy. Well. <laughs> This piece of crap did not want to stay on, on last night while taking pictures. Because every time I try to pose it, it fell off, or the or the figure did not or the figure did not want to work with me. I said it to my friend this morning when I woke up. This figure was frustrating as heck from, from putting him in this form, in this suit. And uh it got on my nerves. It got on my nerves because from posing him, his skirt one his skirt piece won't come off, but other time, this piece fell off as well. It just did not want to work with me, not one bit. <sighs> yep, that's wonderful. But uh, anyway, since since I got him in uh, Mark II, since I got him in uh, Mark II laser boost, well, laser boost form, let's go on to the accessories. So he comes with like a lot of hands, but at the same time, to make it to make it picture like more official, he comes with he comes with the raid rise he comes with the his raid riser. At the same time, uh, for doing your picture, make sure to make it accurate. You take out this piece right here, so it looks like it so it looks like that geese has the gun in his hand for your picture. That's what I did to make it more show accuracy. <laughs> Also, why why I did not buy Jin's figure? I'm not like in a hurry to buy that figure. This looks really good. This look like this looks really good. Holy crap, Tomashi! You guys outdid yourself. To be fair, Tomashi always outdid himself when it comes to Kamen figure. Eh, here and there, but still. The last time, the last time Tomashi out there, the last time Tomashi someone did. Tamashi sama. Tamashi did good out this uh, with with a geese figure with Tycoon in my opinion. And I love that figure. And yet that big yet out all the geese reviews I did, that one got the most views. Around I think almost 200, 300, which is crazy. But yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Homeboy missing a hand. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, that's weird. Oh, fuck it. God damn it. Oh wait, nope. Oop, found it. Oh no, I didn't. What the heck? We'll be right back again. I'm ah, uh, sorry. I am back. Well, one of the hands are missing. Don't worry, I'll 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 probably find it after the video's over. But uh, on to the hands. So we got like two uh uh we got, got sorry we got like two grab hands well for the gun 
and for like holding the belt piece as well. Two fisted hands. And two open hands, but uh, the other one, well, I'm gonna guess that, uh, I'm gonna guess, uh, it went missing even though, even though it was in my box the whole time, but okay, I'll, I'll go find that after the video's done. Update. I hate this thing. I found it. <laughs> I found both the hands, so all good there. And yeah. And yeah, those are all the accessories he have. I can still find that one hand. What the fuck is it? Excuse my language, but anyway. Uh, now on to size comparison. And yeah, we got a lot to compare him with, actually. And since uh, this is the latest Raywall Rider just came out, he even got charred. Oh wow, his chrome is all that, <laughs> you know, his chrome is all that bad as uh, coolers. And here he is with well Tycoon, a fellow Geats Rider, my favorite character in Geats. Dang, he's standing pretty well right next to them. And the, and the next like, comment review for figure art is uh, on this boy, Gotchard. And I cannot really talk about Gotchard because holy crap, he's impressing the heck out of me. Here he is with a uh, comrade buffer. Here he is with comrade Fies. Okay. And uh, here he is with, with a few Marvel characters with uh with the Marvel Legend X Men ninety seven Wolverine and the Mayfex Carnage. Okay. Here he is with, with, with an SA figure XA to represent uh, Takahashi because Takahashi for both their show. I did have zero one, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm too late to get zero one off my display. Here he is with a lightning collection, King Spinks. This boy is pretty, this boy is pretty tall, to be honest. Here he with, here he with, with a freaking SA figure art event exclusive Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. Alright, he's standing for about pretty good with all of them. You know, Gohan's the smallest one. <laughs> so, overall, what do I think? Uh, okay. If you love Geats, and uh, if you don't, if you love or don't like Geats, they figure they figure recommendable, but at the same time, he is premium Bandai, and uh, he could be a he could be a pain in the butt find the aftermarket, but hey, it's your money, so you do you. Is he good? Yep, yeah, same time he is frustrating as heck for putting in low uh, putting in laser boost. So I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna keep him I'm just gonna keep him in laser boost for now on because I'm too lazy to take him out and put him back in Mark II. Because putting him in laser boost was frustrating. So I'm not going to uh I'm not going to I'm not gonna deal with that plaza from taking him apart again. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media description. And also yeah, uh one last thing. I have an eBay page. I'm so I'm selling like a lot of figure arts on there. Some uh some commerce stuff and some anime stuff like Dragon Ball and Naruto and Jujutsu Kaisen. If you're interested, in, if if you're interested in buying any of my stuff, I'll put I'll put my eBay my eBay page in the description. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe again. Follow all my social description and put the notification button on for my next video. That's gonna be on Gotchard. And um, uh, yeah, my goal this year, my goal this year, we hit a thousand subs. And with you guys' help, we can do that. And yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron, and I'm out. Enjoy the videos. Peace.